Okay, which of the following criteria must also be met for diagnosis of a conduct disorder? Okay, so with this kind of question where it's asking about diagnostic criteria, um, I really wanna focus on what our actual answer choices are because some of them can probably be ruled out immediately. Sure. Um, so age of onset before 10, we don't believe is part of the diagnostic criteria. Uh, Co-occurrence of ADHD, I know is not. So that one I would rule out. Um, presence of at least two specific symptoms for at least six months. I think that one I can leave in. Symptoms causing significant impairment. That's just all of the psych diagnoses. So that one can stay in. And symptoms occurring exclusively in the context of mood or psychotic disorder. Uh, that one I would rule out because it's not okay. specific to that. Okay, so then we have 14-year-old boy brought to the psychiatrist by his parents due to a history of aggressive and deceitful behavior. Parents report that he has been involved in fights at school, stolen money from family members, and deliberately destroyed his brother's toys. The behavior has persisted for over a year and has resulted in significant distress to the family. Okay, so for it to be conduct... Let's see, that's usually has to do with like multiple locations, like at home and school. Um, I think I'm going to go with kind of our generic symptoms causing significant impairment. Okay. Final answer. Final answer. Yeah, I mean, this is a, I would say on a test taking sample, a pretty safe answer um, for psych issues, right? Um, especially with kiddos, a lot of the times they're going to mention multiple areas, uh, um, multiple places that it happens at. Uh, the reason why that is is because, you know, if they're only having issues at one place, it could be with a particular individual rather than a disorder, right? But if you're yeah. having it in all locations, then it's probably a disorder of that person rather than a relationship issue, right? Um, mm -hmm. Meaning what I mean relationship is like child and teacher versus child and parent, right? Um, so definitely for sure, that's a pretty safe answer choice. But um, yeah, I don't think there's too much to go on uh, besides that. But yeah, like age of onset before 10, you know, not many things, you know, have that age of 10, right? It's usually from 18, right? 18 is usually cut off of conduct disorder, um, and uh, antisocial, right? Yes. All right, perfect.